Aloha and welcome once again to another Paradigm Shift Central Conscious Media Co-op production meeting for Wednesday, January 16th, 2019. Of course, once again, my name is Brendan, aka Mystic Spider-Man Skull Babylon, welcoming you. And of course, we're going to get right into this. The Conscious Media Co-op, this is, you know, we've been building this for a while. For those of you who may be new to these production meetings, this is about building a team of conscious media creators, people who are working together to be able to help amplify their sacred message, their sacred mission to be able to help impact and make a difference in the world while also supporting themselves on their own entrepreneurial and creative endeavors to be able to help level up their creative skills to bring in more prosperity for themselves and to really help people step into that life purpose of being able to do what it is that they are here to do so Good morning to everybody in here. So if everybody in here wants to join me and unmute themselves and they can say hello to all the other beautiful people tuned into this in the future, all the shifters in here. So go ahead, everyone. Gently unmute your microphones and say good morning to everyone. So good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Hey, Happy rising. Or afternoon, evening, whenever you're listening to this, of course. So <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> So as we get into this, and if everyone just wants to put themselves on mute as we roll through this, uh, I want to go over just a couple updates in terms of the status of the website, give you guys an idea of what's happening and what to be able to expect. And from there, we're pretty much going to be getting right into a core topic of what I want to talk about today, which syncs up with the website, which is really about being able to focus on conscious media. And, and of, of course, that's what we're talking about here in general, but specifically uh, video content creation and getting everyone ready to be able to submit that first piece of content for the website so that's what we're moving towards before we even do that though i really just want to invite everyone here to just take a moment to let's all connect with our breath because as creators you know this isn't just about me trying to help teach you about how to create awesome content but this is also about just getting into the mindset of how to be able to you know just live the best life possible to work ourselves towards more of that self-mastery so obvious tips, one of the one of the simplest tips is to really get into the habit of taking time throughout your day to do like at least like two or three consecutive deep breaths like every half hour literally or like at least every hour within that time frame and when you think about it you will oftentimes go through an entire day without actually taking a moment to really breathe and, and this happens so when we do this not only does it just like help like bring more oxygen into our body but it really just kind of helps like level things out and it can bring forth more clarity so let's just do this together where I literally just want you to not even think too much about this but to just focus on how good it feels to literally just be with your breath so let's all just take some big deep breaths here we'll take three of them in a row and then we'll move on and then we'll take some more breaths throughout this throughout this broadcast as well so if you guys are already doing it perfect and please feel free to synchronize with me as well so we'll just do a big exhale just to begin with and then a nice big inhale with through the nose or the mouth big exhale And do that two more times, nice and big. And one more, just really enjoy it. Awesome. And through this broadcast, throughout your day, really just inviting you to become more aware of your breath. You know, your breath is just like this. It's basically like the 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 fuel that moves the machine. So if you're not getting enough breath into your body, then you're kind of like limiting your own potential. So make sure that you're really fueling your machine by taking the time to breathe. And that's going to affect the entire the entire output of energy that you have throughout your entire day as creator. Creators. So again, thank you everyone for partaking in that. So let's get into some of the updates in terms of where we're at with the project. First of all, I'll mention uh, yesterday on Tuesday, we had our first uh, scheduled work period. And so I just want to let everyone know that we do have a new schedule moving forward and we're going to work with this where Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays will be our production meetings at 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then 
Tuesdays and Thursdays will be scheduled work periods within that same time, 11 a.m. to 12 p.m., but it can go longer as need be. And so the slight difference is that the scheduled work periods, those won't be recorded broadcasts such as this one. They will more just be kind of like art jams where people kind of show up and you guys can really just free flow style, bounce ideas back and forth. Of course, I'll be there, but it's really just a space for everyone to just kind of, you know, get uh, get feedback on ideas. And it's much more just kind of like freestyle free flow style whereas here we just have like a little bit of a format that we move through so again today's wednesday thursday would be our next work schedule and then friday it would be our scheduled work period then friday would be our production meeting again as well and as always these scheduled times they are they are not mandatory they are really there to serve you they are really there for you to reciprocate the value for them so as contributing members of the co-op if you're able to make it that's totally awesome and if you're not don't worry because there's plenty of other opportunities that we'll be collaborating and as the project evolves you're going to see like much more activity within the work lounge so you know like i'll always kind of be around but then later in the evening people will start getting more into that creative flow and again that's going to coincide with having the website up and getting into the habit of creating ongoing content so in terms of the website, uh, those of you who listened to the last production meeting, you know that we've um, taken a big step towards being able to shift the entire Paradigm Shift Central website onto the new platform of Wix. And I've really, really been enjoying using the Wix platform. I do recommend it. And again, me investing in not only building this on the Wix platform is, is, is for the project, but also so that I can learn how to use Wix. And then in the future, I want to be able to pass on my knowledge to each of you so that each of us can build our own websites as need be. And I really, I, I, I like at this point, like Wix, like there's a good reason why Wix is kind of like the leading platform right now. There's like a, so many tools, there's a lot of customization, it's really beautiful. And there's a lot of like additional apps that you can add into it. And so we'll talk more about Wix as we go. So with the website, it's, um, I, I've been playing around with some stuff and, and right now, like there's still a little bit more work to do, but we're at the point where coinciding with this broadcast, we're ready to start inviting people to start contributing their content to the website so that we can start building our initial foundation of content that is going to be there when people land on it for the first time, once we start publishing it. So in terms of the content, that is the content where within this project, we're really focusing on it being inspirational, educational, and entertaining. Ideally, we do want to encourage the creation of videos, but at the same time, we also want to have like, you know, articles written, formats similar to the quest journals that we've talked about in the past, that freestyle flow, flow writing. But again, really just kind of doing it with that intention that this work is not only a chance for you to creatively practice, but but also to be able to create something that's going to represent who you are, what you're offering and invite people back to your work. So everything that you create through the website is thought of as like a promotional piece that is inviting people to connect with you uh, ongoing and everything like that. So in terms of timeframes, uh, originally we were talking about doing a broadcast for this Thursday, given that there's still more work to do on the website and there's a few other things that I have to work on right now, we're going to move that back again. And I, I, I'm okay with this because again, I I want to be able to do it right I, i'm okay with being patient with this and and i really want like that that initial introduction to the project to coincide with the broadcast so that people can really see what it is that we're offering because one thing that and, and this is kind of a side tip when it comes to creating conscious media you know is that you only get one chance to make a first impression right and so there's going to be a lot of people who have already tuned into past broadcasts that we've done and maybe they're familiar with the old website but if there's new people that we're that we're introducing it'd be kind of weird Weird to kind of like you know push this broadcast and then be like stay tuned for the website because it's not up yet whereas if we're creating something and we can be like this is what we're talking about go to the website and you can check it out right now type thing that's a little bit more impactful so next week is going to be the big week and it's actually really exciting because this is going to my intention is to get things ready for the website to work with you guys over the next couple of days to start getting content onto the website and then we'll really essentially be launching the website website on Monday and that coincides with the full moon and the eclipse synchronistic so that for me actually feels like really exciting to be able to launch the website on the eclipse and so stay tuned for that and again beyond this broadcast we're going to be working together and I'm going to be uh, adding people as contributors on the website 
And so um, moving through this broadcast, what I want to go through uh, in terms of uh, group discussion, I want to be able to take a moment here to really kind of brainstorm, you know, what does inspirational video content look like and how can we create this and what are some ideas of what it is that we want to be able to create. So this is, again, branching off of previous discussions that we have, but focusing in a little bit more. So what I want to do, I want to go around the circle here and I want you guys to be able to share to the answer to two questions and the two questions will be the first one will be who are some conscious youtubers in the past that you have enjoyed and so the purpose of that is you know again you know look to other youtubers that that have, that are already out there that are perhaps already successful or perhaps are maybe not even super huge but ones you still really enjoy and tell us a bit about them what what was it about them that really appealed for you what was the content they were presenting what was the energy that they had and then the other question will be what are some of the i what are some ideas of video content that you are looking to create so again for now for today we're going to focus just on the topic of video content creation and then the writing content we'll get into a little bit later as we go and so um with that said you know uh pretty much again you know with the content that we're creating and i'm just going to say this and then we're going to start passing around and I'll, I'll i'll get you guys to answer these questions the content that we're creating we really have to keep in mind that we're honoring people's time and, and that's a really important thing because you want to be able to understand that in today's day and age people's attention span is only a certain amount it, it's actually like an energy that in many cases is often diluted across their entire social network Works. So how do we create content that is not only going to stand out in the first place to be able to invite them to share their attention with us, but also to be able to honor their attention with the purpose of engagement and also to be able to offer them something of value. And so when it comes to content creation, and we'll get more into this as we go, essentially, that's always something you want to keep in mind is what value are you providing the audience? What does the audience get out of them spending their time on you? You know, so it Again, if you're if you're just like watching a, a movie on Netflix, like what are you you're putting your attention into it and what are you getting out? Sometimes it's just kind of like, you know, it's entertainment. It's entertainment. And sometimes that can be almost a form of escapism. It depends on the content, right? But, but if we're focusing on content that is not just entertaining, but is also inspirational and educational, then essentially what we're offering people is really this idea of like a feeling. And that's something that I really want you to think about, you know, creating content content that is going to leave the audience feeling something after they watch it because that feeling is essentially going to be the thing that's going to keep them coming back it will it, they'll remember how your videos made them feel feel and again this doesn't really mean that your videos have to be like top-notch super professional but it really has to do with the energy that you're putting into your videos how you're showing up and so we do kind of want to encourage people to find this balance between you know like showmanship presentation while still being authentic in a sense and honoring the fact that you know you want to have something where if someone's watching a video you don't want to make a video where it's just like hi my name's Brendan, and today we're going to talk about chakras. You know, <laughs> instead, it should be like, really just be like, hey guys, my name's Brendan, we're going to be talking about chakras, and by the end of this video, we're going to get you brought up to speed so that you know more about yourself and so that you can share this information with your friends. Something like that, right? So it's just like really kind of like laying out for them what it is that they're getting out of it while creating that energy that's going to help them remember it. So again it's kind of like you, you, you think back in high school remember there was like that one teacher who was just like super monotone and somehow like you just like didn't enjoy that class even though the content might have been good so keep in mind how there was that other teacher who was like super lively and super engaging and asking you questions and getting that involvement that's kind of the energy that is within all of us that we're working towards while still kind of honoring our individual styles and preferences that we have so just keeping in that in mind again the philosophy behind behind what creates inspirational content, what creates successful content, what creates those content for those videos where, you know, people are boosting their subscribers. It's the energy. It's not, it's not just what they're talking about. It's how they're talking about it. So we'll talk more about that as a team. So I'll go, um, I won't go like, let's go around the circle and I'll just pass the talk and stick around and then I'll come back to it with my own answers to these questions. So again, the questions are, who are some conscious YouTubers in the past that you have enjoyed? And 
the other question are what are some ideas of video content that you are looking to create so in terms of ideas for video content if you haven't yet I really encourage you to even just create like a point form notes of topics that that you kind of want to cover it, it not even just like in a week from now but literally over the course of like a couple months so if you can create literally this list then you're gonna give yourself this resource to be like sweet you know like I'm gonna pick and choose from this list as I kind of go through the week you know like knowing that there's always gonna be more for me to work on and essentially that's the beauty of it is that by us being here as a team we can kind of encourage people to kind of get the ideas rolling and there is infinite content available for everyone we just kind of have to pick and choose what content we want to start off with first so hopefully it, it, the intention behind this broadcast is that again us just talking about it will even give you some additional ideas on what content you feel called to create so we'll go around the circle and thank you again everyone for being here and if somebody wants to unmute themselves first they can share their react their answers to again the question of who are some conscious youtubers in the past that you have enjoyed and what are some ideas of video content that you are looking to create in the future so mm, let's go with manders first and then and then after that if rick wants to go next then we can go to rick so manders go right ahead hey guys um yeah so that's so funny i was actually just sitting here looking at uh youtubers like as we were getting started so perfect um so one of them one of the first ones that I started watching, you may have heard of is Spirit Science. Um, <laughs> and then um, from there, opened up a doorway to other because they kind of help share other content creators. So another one would be Teal Swan. Um, I just really love how she just says it like it is. And um, she covers so many different topics. Um, and then there's Abraham Hicks who you can get like this channeling download of sometimes really intense information on how to do the law of attraction. I love their rampages that they do. Um, <clears throat> the energy is typically super high and good. And then uh, Aaron Doherty was the one I was, or I think Doty uh, was the one I was looking at this morning. Cause I was trying to kind of go back to the very beginning. Like what did he, where did he start, you know, and from there, try to like gather some inspiration on what people were really drawn into, um, based on the content that he was putting out there. Um, and what I'm finding is people are definitely drawn to anything that ha relates to anxiety, uh, law of attraction, um, and then also life's purpose. So this kind of goes together with what I wanted to do for my first video anyway, is kind of setting an intention for like, kind of like who I am. So like an introduction of who I am and so that they can get a tone from me. And then <clears throat> from there, talk about life purpose, um, how to kind of discover your life purpose, how I discovered mine, and then how that can change your world. Um, so what they would get out of a video from me would be maybe left feeling inspiration and just feeling powerful. Like, yes, I can do this. I may not be able to change the government, but I can change my world. Kind of that's what I'm going for. Awesome. Thank you, Manders. And do you feel, again, I guess like within those two topics of like law of attraction and life purpose, uh, there would be like multiple kind of like subcategories within that. I assume that's kind of like what you would be aiming for, right? Yeah. And that's where I'm still haven't totally fleshed out because I'm, you know, I've got the broad list and I'm kind of trying to narrow it down. And so, yeah, basically once I get that topic nailed down, then there'll be all the little sub categories of little topics that you touch on during the video to get them kind of organized cool cool awesome awesome and and again you know like even just creating more of like that subcategory list i think that would be really cool and and, and yeah. again you know like 
we have to keep in mind and i feel like some people are going to feel like some sort of hesitancy behind the idea that like oh you know if aaron doughty already made a video about this specific topic then that means i can't make a video about it not necessarily mm -hmm. again you know like this knowledge is like universal wisdom and so as long as we're not literally copying him word for word but we're just again presenting it through our own perspective and keeping in mind that every time that we're doing this we're helping branch out this knowledge to a further audience we're helping get this knowledge to people who have likely never heard of Aaron Doughty or something like that right just because he's super popular there's still millions of other people out there who have not heard of him and again you know it's just it's good experience and it's good practice for you as well just to be able to practice like vocalizing these ideas because it's really powerful when you create a video and you're just like you know like oh like what are my thoughts on law of attraction how do I want to format it well again still finding a way to to make it like fun and appealing in your own kind of style so yeah manders i think that's really cool and again like the youtubers that you create that you mentioned spirit science teal swan abraham hicks aaron dowdy um yeah those are those are all good examples as well and um yeah again you know like we got some good variety there of course like spirit science a cartoon very very kind of like high energy flashy and everything like that you can understand the appeal of that teal swan like often very like raw videos dealing with like very like a huge variety of topics some of them very lighthearted, some of them very serious uh abraham hicks getting into like the channeling aspect of it but again tapping into like this universal wisdom and again in the same way like abraham hicks is like a conduit for this universal wisdom each of us has that same role as well to be these conduits for universal wisdom so there might be days where you'll just wake up one day and you'll just be like oh my god I have to make a video about this. Like something will come to you and you want to be able to have the skill sets where you know that you can channel that energy into the video format where you already have the confidence. Because again, I think this is where a lot of people are struggling where they'll be like, oh my God, I have an amazing idea, but I don't know how to make a video of it. I don't have the familiarity and the confidence and then it kind of gets stuck. And then we kind of get like, we're like, Ugh, or something like that. And again, I know we talked about it before, but that's the purpose of this co-op is to help kind of clear out those channels for that creativity to be able to flow. And the way how that happens is by practice. So, um, and, and again, Aaron Doughty, he's got lots of amazing stuff. There's good, good, again, his content is good to study, especially when you look at how simple it is. You look at his format and it's really just him talking to the camera in his like kitchen when you watch it. So it's just like, oh, okay, that's not, you know, like I, I could film in my kitchen making a video too. But then again, it's like his energy uh, with it as well that people find like really, really it, it attractive as well as again, like what he's offering them is that it's not just like an, an entertaining, but it's actually practical as well it's something that people can relate to and apply to their own life as well one thing uh, I'll just mention, and this is for Manders and for anyone, I, I highly encourage, and what I'd like to be able to do is to invite people to be able to make a video for the what will go up through the main Paradigm Shift Central website that will essentially serve as like an, an introduction video. And again, this is what Manders is already talking about, but to essentially make a video where you're introducing yourself, but you're doing it from the perspective of like talking about your life purpose. So think about that. And, and that may be like the first video that you want to be able to submit to the website and just another side note on the website is that as we get more content creators involved here with the community essentially what we'll be doing the model that we'll be doing is that we'll be releasing like one new shifter entry which again would be either video or written shift one new shifter entry each day so that each day when we're posting it through Instagram that that kind of becomes like that featured focus that kind of becomes the spotlight of the day and then we're just like focusing on moving traffic just to that one particular post as it kind of goes up and again like this would this would just be like a monday to friday with new content um though there would if it, as the content becomes more available if we have like additional content becoming available for like the saturday and sunday then absolutely we can play with that as well but that simple idea of having you know like one new shifter entry which again is just the term that we use for the blog entries on the website site per day so just keep that in mind so but yeah uh manders do you have any any feedback on that I, I mean again i was talking in general there but anything else that you might want to add to the group no that really helps kind of um put it in a package kind of thing and about i guess one a day is that like one video a day or could it be like a variety of different types of media 
Right. So the, the shifter entries, which is what we're calling them on the website, which again is more or less in the past on the past version of the website, we had quest journals and conscious articles. We've combined this, all of these into one category, which we're referring to as shifter entries. And the those shifter entries would be either video or written content. But ideally, we just want like if it's written content, we want it to be at least like a five minute read. And again, for it to be like fairly polished. And then again, if there's like it, 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 we can kind of experiment with this as we go but some people were talking about you know like what about art if i have a piece of art that i want to be able to submit what would work yeah. best is that if it's more so almost like a gallery of art so instead of just like one post with one image if we can kind of create like a compilation of your of your work uh within a post that again is really featuring who it is that you are and what it is that you're creating then that would serve as a, as again like more of an investment for uh, or like more of a more value for the person reading it right so if like a person clicks on a link instead of just getting one image which they could have just gotten from an instagram post theoretically we kind of want it to be a little bit different it's kind of like it's it's a gallery which may be you know even just three or four images and then also a write-up about perhaps like the philosophy behind your art and like a bit of your journey and what it means to you and what you hope people kind of get out of it as well and then again also within that there's the option for like poetry as well um and, and again this is where we're still we're still kind of feeling things out here um if there is poetry again you would kind of want poetry to be longer you wouldn't want just like a short little poem that would just go up as a shifter entry but that may work perfectly for your individual instagram profile and then we'll also be sharing posts through instagram stories from other instagram profiles profiles for co-op members as well so again there is going to be a bit of an experimentation but focusing primarily on the you know video content and the well-written articles to begin with well-written content to begin with and then kind of figuring out where other things fit into it as we go just but focusing again on like honoring the 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 time and the attention of the person who's coming to it so that when they click on it they they feel like they're they're getting something of value out of that so does that help clarify a bit more manders yeah that's great Okay, cool, cool, sweet. Because again, you know, for everybody here, I, I do want to encourage everybody here to be able to develop those develop those video skills as well as the additional writing and everything as well in terms of creating conscious media. So everyone here can, can create videos. So, okay. And um, let's keep moving around. So uh, I think, I'm not sure if, if Rick wanted to go next, but if Rick wants to go next, they're more than welcome to. And Rick, okay, we'll pass it over to you. So again, just answering the questions of who are some conscious YouTubers in the past that you have enjoyed and what are some ideas of video content that you are looking to create in the future? So Rick, if you would like to share, please go ahead. Absolutely. Thank you again, Brendan. Rick Ely, the breath of Eli. Thank you. Uh, so YouTubers that... Um, that I have, that have influenced me have been people like Muji, uh, Aaron Daughtry, Ray Mayer, Lulu Mace, Jay Shetty, uh, Marianne Williamson, Abram Hicks, Ram Dass, uh, other universe inside you, Gary Light. So these are, there's, you know, and Eckhart Tolle, right? Uh, gosh. Oh, let's see who else. Um, Joe Dispenza, Greg Braden. These are these are people that you know have influenced me. Love motives, uh, your universe, and you know spirit science as well. So there's a lot of different, uh, a lot of different influences. And but see, I'm 46 years old. I'm probably a lot older than the majority of the people inside this group, and yet I'm just coming, just becoming awake. It's like I've received this download and know what it is I'm, I'm to do. And so I'm just thankful and grateful. And I come out here in love and compassion and uh, the categories and topics that, you know, I want to discuss are things like healing, esoteric wisdom, you know, practical application and universal wisdom. The platform for me is, is really speaking. So when I come out and I, I do a daily message every day. It's it's inspirational, motivational, uh, educational, and entertaining. So that is, you know, that's me. I hope to inspire. I hope to empower. 
you know, everyone I touch, we, we all do. So going back to leading to, you know, oneness and acceptance where the words love and acceptance are interchangeable and getting to that place where people have, you know, practical application to where they can create their best lives to be the highest ideal of themselves to to get into that place into that sweet spot of of love of compassion because that's the place for me that's where i i enjoy being the most i'm uh, but there's so much to learn and there's so much to grow from each and every one of you and i just appreciate you all being here so i just enter this and with an attitude of gratitude if you will Awesome. Thank you very much, Rick. And yeah, that's a that's a great list that you had there. And uh, there was some that you said at the beginning that I didn't get written down. But uh, ones that I got were Aaron Doughty, Jay Sheedy, Gary Light, Universe Inside You, Eckhart Tolle, Greg Braden, Love Universe, um, Spirit Science. And there were a few others in there as well. But I, again, you know, that just goes to show that like there's there's already like so many conscious creators out there. But again, there can always be more right like we need one like on every city city block essentially right because like there's when you think of the ratio of just like my god there's so many creators out there but like my god there's so many more people out there and that is our job is kind of like be beacons be light guardians be mirrors that help just spread this message even further through our unique expression of it and i love uh, rick that you're focusing again you were talking about healing ancient wisdom practical application um absolutely those those are really important and and uh, really focusing on the practical application for everybody here that's always really exciting because again you know like for people who are gonna maybe watch some of these videos when it comes to kind of the spiritual side they oh if they're not if they're not totally into it then sometimes they're just kind of like oh that's too woo woo for me but if you can focus on like the practical application of things which is going to be relative depending on what you're talking about then like that is essentially going to help accomplish the objective of really helping bring some of these really high conscious ideas into onto the ground you know into the 3d because again that's kind of the big theme with what it is that we're doing here that i've talked about in many broadcasts before is that essentially we are serving as like the bridge between higher conscious ideas and mainstream culture so in a lot of ways depending on what video it is that you're creating keep in mind that what would your video look like if you were talking to people who weren't familiar with like the spiritual the spiritual community in the same way that we are not to say that that needs to be what all all your videos about but I do highly encourage you to practice making content with the intention of being able to show it to somebody on the street and for them to be able to be like whoa like I really resonate with that you know they might not <laughs> maybe that wouldn't be their terms right but there's just like re I really enjoyed that that really spoke to me in, in a way right and that's kind of the thing is that through our content essentially what we're doing it's like we're like speaking like through the illusions and we're actually trying to like speak to the person's soul so how does that happen how do we do that how do we establish that communication between the content we're creating and the soul inside of the person that for some people if they see your video and maybe they just stumble upon it they're going to be like whoa that was different. That was different than what I felt when I watched, you know, the Big Bang Theory or CNN News or some other sports thing or something like that. Again, nothing wrong with those, but it's just like, you know, that there's something else with conscious, conscious content that kind of, it, it, do, it speaks to a deeper part of who we are. So how do we do that? How do we speak to that deeper part? So Rick, um, again, I think that I think that's really cool that what it is that you're creating there. And and one thing I want to mention um, for, for Rick and for other people as well, because I didn't mention it earlier in terms of the conscious content, you know, I said focusing on uh, videos and written content uh, with those two as the kind of the top two, uh, there would also be the option for like podcast content. So if you're doing, you know, podcasts, you're doing interviews with people, those can be content that can be put into the main Paradigm Shift Central website as well. So keep that in mind. And just as a quick plug, me and Rick are actually doing a little uh, podcast type interview next Tuesday at 9 p.m. Central Time or 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 6 p.m. Central Time. 
I think correct. Um, something along those lines, but yeah, Rick, I, again, I think, I think those are really cool ideas and, and I think you have a very powerful voice and you have a very, very just, again, you know, like energetic presence to, to what it is that when, to the content that you carry when you talk about that. And I, I, again, you know, with the content that we're creating, I do want to help everyone here kind of get into the format where their videos that they're making do have, you know, like a punchy intro and a punchy outro. But between that, if people are kind of already in this mode where they just like to turn turn on the camera and talk for 10 minutes and really just honor spirit and see what comes out and talk about a particular topic. Absolutely work on that. And, 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 and maybe that is like your format. I've seen plenty of videos that are very powerful when they're like that, but at the same time, let's see what happens when we sort of begin to diversify our styles so that we can ex open up to more creative avenues to be able to express ourselves and just being able to kind of, again, just evolve our skill sets as well. Um, but yeah, uh, Rick, just kind of like passing it back to you. I don't know if there's anything in response to what you had to say, or even just like plugging our little interview for next week as well. But yeah, I'm really excited to be able to work more with you and just be able to support the the content that you're already creating as well. So Rick, back to you, dude. Oh, thank you. I'm I'm so honored. Like I said, it's my honor. It's my privilege. It's, I, I'm grateful. I'm thankful. The 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 video that we're gonna do is like a podcast, if you will, but, but really live video on Facebook, um, and we'll be broadcasting on Live Masters TV in Facebook. And there's so much to learn, right? I mean, just getting up, getting captivating the attention of the audience is is one thing delivering the message that is going to create transformational change and an ease of transformation as opposed to this you know hard many people like me have gone through the dark night of the soul to come out the other side and when i see people that are stuck then i see people in that place of you know how do you transition how do you make this transition especially people in my um, in my era, if you will, you know, it's the midlife crisis. You're hitting that wall and where do you, you wake up and you go one day, you go, there's so much more. I know there's more than this. And yet we're still, the, the society's on this hamster wheel and it's, you know, get out of the grind and get, get into the highest ideal of you. So how do we do that? So 6 p.m., Pacific Standard Time, Live Masters TV. I'm, I have the privilege and honor to interview Brendan, uh, Skull of Babylon, a.k.a. Mystic Spider-Man, and who has led the charge with um, giving away free hugs. So I'm excited. Everybody should be excited to hear what he's got to say. He's literally created this co-op of conscious content creators that are, do, that are shifting the paradigm. So please tune in and, and we'll have some fun learning the, this peeling back the onion, if you will, on this esoteric wisdom and giving you also practical application on how you can use it in your own life. Awesome. Thank you, Rick. Looking forward to it, man. And uh, absolutely for everyone in the co-op, I'll make sure that I share it within the co-op as well. So you guys will will get a chance to tune in for that. And um, yeah, again, you know, I'll just say this here and then we'll, we'll pass the talk and stick around. I think Josie wants to go next. Uh, what 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 is so powerful about this co-op, again, is that you, you we understand that each of us kind of has our specialty that allows us to reach specific audience. So again, you know, kind of like with, with what Rick was saying, you know, like maybe there's a specific audience that he's reaching to that uh, can relate to his own personal journey of people who might be, you know, kind of in that like 40 demographic, whereas, you know, like maybe for other people, they're focusing more on, and, and this is, you know, literally for other people who are creators within this co-op are focusing more on the people who are just beginning to awaken who might be at a younger demographic, who might be in their teen years or something like that. And then you got people who are kind of focusing on other people who are maybe in their late 20s, early 30s, who have perhaps like, you know, who are trying to process like that, th those like stages of like grief and heartbreak and trying to understand and get clarity on what direction to take their life in and things like that. And then you also got like this like general audience of really just kind of like high vibe material that's like a call to action, which is kind of what I like to focus on as well. And so, again, you know, just honoring the fact that so many of us have different uh, demographics that we can reach because of the, the unique vibration that we are as individuals. So, um, yeah, it's really powerful. Okay, Josie, let's get it over to you. Um, Josie, you're there. Just double checking. 
Yeah, hi. Okay, cool. So Josie, uh, again, you, you know the questions, conscious YouTubers that have, you've enjoyed in the past, and what are some specific video ideas or general themes for video content that you're looking to create in the future? Josie, go right ahead. Yeah, I had some pretty similar ones, like the general of, you know, I love Victor Odo, honestly. I watched Teal Swan for a while, and I do enjoy, like, some of her content. I think me and her have some similarities in our message, but I really liked Victor Odo. And the only thing that I have found about watching successful YouTubers, while I think it's really helpful watching them and seeing their how they've become successful the the things that they've done the techniques they've used I do enjoy watching that but at the same time I don't feel like I totally get a lot as far as seeing their growth process right so that's why I try to watch other people that are a little bit more small fish but that have grown a bit because those are the people that I'm watching a little bit more to see like how they're growing. So like one, for instance, that I watch is this girl named Enlightened 1111. And she does all like twin flame relationship type of work. And the thing I found fascinating about hers, her channel is she just does voice recordings. She doesn't even really get on video, but she's successful. She has, I think, think like 60,000 followers and she's like really gorgeous I've even seen her on camera it's not like she's hiding or anything like that but I think that she's found the way that she can communicate the best is by just doing voice messages like on her iPad and then she just puts an image up on the screen but her words are so powerful they resonate so much so I've really been watching her style and watching her be successful by finding that avenue that's a great fit for her. And um, the other thing I was gonna say, oh, the things that I've been watching as well to try to find my own style is other tar tarot readers on YouTube and both the same type of idea, ones that are, are really successful, like over 100K followers and other ones that are maybe around five or 6,000 because I'm learning from both hugely. Like, ones that are still learning in the process and i'm seeing the mistakes they're making but how they're growing each day so that to me is really big on my own path kind of starting out with all of this but yeah the direction i'm heading in especially right now is definitely doing tarot readings i'm trying to find my own style because i enjoy doing them and i get really good responses from them when i do them on instagram but i still want to just find a different way of doing it because something isn't quite connecting there so that's what i'm working on right now awesome thank you thank you jocelyn yeah and uh I, I, again i i think i think you're right like for me i really enjoy kind of finding those youtubers that aren't super popular and just kind of studying them and seeing what they're doing and everything like that because i think there's like it's kind of interesting because I think there's a particular format to creating a really successful YouTube channel. And oftentimes, like when people are really successful, it's usually they kind of like pick one format and they kind of stick to it and they don't really stray too, too far from it. Um, but then you get like some of these like smaller channels and everything like that. And they're just like really exploring like these different varieties and everything. Um, but I think you, you really get to like see like the, the artistic presence behind what it is that they're doing and you can really feel the emotion. And again, and that's where even for for what we've been building here as a co-op, I'm always kind of looking for those people who are in those like early stages of their YouTube career to be able to either just like invite them into what we're creating. And that's going to be something ongoing. So for anybody here, if you got if you happen to come across somebody who is a, a kind of like a, a new within their YouTube, but you feel they have a lot of value to them, please feel free to like forward them to me or post them within the core chat for the co-op as well, because I love being able to to be able to 
hear about those. And um, yeah, Jocelyn, I think again, you know, like I think there's like a lot of value that that you have to offer, and I think it's just going to continue to expand uh, without you having to necessarily get into like a particular, uh, you know, like pigeonholed niche uh, as well. And so I know you're focusing a lot on like the tarot readings and your Instagram and everything. Um, I'd love to just kind of uh, brainstorm more even beyond this uh, to just kind of like get some ideas rolling in terms of like what other types of videos that you can make that may even kind of be a little bit different than the format that you're currently doing as well or just again more ways to just kind of like even bring those more in, into like a, a higher tier of production quality as well but I do think that you have like a natural knack for, for being on camera and you have a natural presence for being on camera and I think as you continue to even focus more on developing that I think it's just going to continue to become even stronger and you know you have the type of presence where people will go to your video and they'll be like oh yeah you know like like I remember who she is like I remember like what it is that she was talking about and absolutely you know you you go into a good variety of topics um that that a lot of people can relate to very very human topics and it's good that you're not afraid to kind of go into those topics because I think that type of that type of support is really valuable to a lot of people who are perhaps like going through those those more challenging times well at the same time you're still like you know bringing them into a place of accountability but also into a place of empowerment as well so I think that's really exciting so yeah Jocelyn again I think it's really cool what it is that you're doing and happy to have you on board so cool yeah thank you so do you have um Jocelyn do you have any specific um topics for videos that you know that you want to create within maybe like the next month do you have that yet because I know you've already covered so many topics but do you got like a another list of topics coming up yeah I it's funny I just made a list last night um I was because I have just you know, it's, it's kind of as things come up and it's as I watch other content that other inspiration will come to me and I'll be able to kind of see the direction that I can go in with certain topics. So I've been thinking about doing a video on, on like combining all my information and describing like jealousy or describing like one thing I want to talk about that is really popular with me is what I call shame cycles. So those are some of my, like, some of the things I have planned. But at the same time, I'm still wanting to do, like, a variety of things on my channel where, yes, I've focused so much on trauma and pain and why those things happen because I feel like that helps people. But I also want to do a different little bit of direction where I show the ways that I have come out of that type of trauma. So showing like how goofy and weird and crazy I am and how much I laugh about things, because to me, that really is the solution to getting through challenges in life. So I'm kind of playing around with that avenue as well and kind of showing a little bit of a different light and my own personality into my into my content, not just all serious, because there's such different sides of my personality in that way where I can be really serious and deep and intense but also like really crazy like a kid so totally. i want to play around with both those aspects for sure but tons more video ideas those were just a few examples awesome and um going back to what we were talking about earlier with manders the idea of creating like a, a a solid intro video that could be you know your premier post on paradigm shift central um yeah really really take some time to kind of like think about like what that would feel like and and you know we were talking to manders about this but your video can literally be you know my life purpose and and you're answering that and what is your life purpose because without you having to focus on you know just one topic of that video you're, you're really just kind of like covering the spectrum while letting people know that yeah you can be like very serious and very lighthearted uh within the different contexts that are required so i would i would encourage you to just kind of like sit with that and and eventually create some sort of like really exciting introduction video because i think that would be incredibly valuable for people who have never seen you before as well right so yeah totally awesome thanks 
Okay, cool. Sweet. Awesome. Thanks, Justin. Okay, cool. Let's keep moving around and uh, we'll aim to wrap up the broadcast within about the next half hour. Again, we always usually go a little bit over, but that's okay. Um, just means we got more content to talk about. Um, I'll mention my stuff in a minute. We'll just go with another person first. So we still have Drew, Pandora, and Summer here. So did Summer want to go next? Yes. Okay, cool. Have... Summer, can you check your microphone? It's very quiet right now. Okay, hold on just move a little bit closer if you need to so okay is that better that's a lot better okay cool all right so summer um just to recap uh just to confirm so we're going around asking people who are some conscious youtubers in the past that you have enjoyed and what are some ideas of video content that you are looking to create roger that okay i actually had been making a list um a few days ago but i have an abbreviated list to share with you guys um, and some reasons why I like them. Uh, like Ralph Smart, everybody knows him. Can I get a hello? You know, that's his slogan. You know, that's excellent. That's a good thing to have. Feel good for his sincerity. Um, feel good life is freaking amazing. Everybody knows him. Um, your universe, because it talks about a lot of different subjects in pretty short videos, very important. Um, Anna Brown, because she's freaking amazing. Uh, Glacia Rain, she has a couple different pages on YouTube where she'll do her tarot readings and her life coach and then she'll just do like an intuitive channeling whatever speaking what downloads she's got and I like that she's very personal she's for real she wakes up at five o'clock in the morning she needs to record a video boom she's doing it very good um higher self is a great YouTube channel but I don't like the monotone like my kids <laughs> at the beginning they have a great little ting 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 music at the very intro so my kids would know, like it was coming on. They had to be quiet. They'd be like, oh, not the Charlie Brown. Wah, 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 wah. So they have that robotic voice. Now they've started doing the channel where they'll have the same intro, but it's the people actually saying it instead of that robotic voice. Very, very not good. Um, <laughs> a couple of the, uh, ones that I like to listen to, like that are longer, they're like conversations, is acoustic health quantum convos. And so like if I'm going to the store, I would have that in my earbuds. It's like an hour and a half, people talking, good flow videos, you know, conversations, um, higher frequencies. And, oh, Heather, Heather from Activation Vibration, her realness is amazing. Um, Aluna Ash, she's very low-key, can control her energy very well, very awesome to listen to. Uh, let's see, hold on, I got a couple more. Nikki Sutton, she's... Well, she's got my last name, so that's kind of cool. Uh, she's with Spiritual Awakening. And then for like, I have Victor Otto and Magenta Pixie, Wayne Dyer, uh, Jay Dreamers, because he talks about information that is true. And now he's coming into the spiritual information too as well. So it's really neat to see people who are giving truth about like the Titans are real. Oh, but now let's talk about law of attraction. So it's neat to see people progress through that. Um, also, Age of Truth TV. That's a great one to listen to when you're walking. Um, but it's really good to watch those people who are on there, who he has interviewed are amazing. And sometimes he'll go back and re-interview the same people on their awakening. Wow. Um, also, Emerald Spider, Claire Sentient Oracle. Boom. And um, for like tarot card people, some people who are starting like Intuitive Uprise are awesome. And then you can watch Cancer Moons. He's bomb. He has a slogan and he's like, you know, he's just who he is. And so as people watch you, they, they want to expect that energy from you. They want to see the same thing. You know, Ralph Smart, can I get a, my kids are like, hello, you know, and, you know, and they'll be like breathing in that big prana, you know, so they know what to expect when they watch you. So what I want people, turn my page, to see when they watch me is me, my summer dawn day. Hey, what's up? my summerisms, my love light messages that are from source, just my high vibe, just who I am. Like, I can't tone that down necessarily. I mean, I can. I can go and do my little meditative videos and, hi, welcome to Summer Dawn Day. And today we're going to talk about Bob Ross and painting chemtrails in the sky. You know, I could do that too. So I want to also maybe like draw three cards for groups, not necessarily zodiac signs, but just three cards, because as I watch multiple things at, at one time, finding it very good to multitask right now, um, you know, I think that people want very short, concise messages. They want to spend 15 minutes or less focusing in on what you have to say. If you can get that out there, 
and be consistent and concise and can I get a hello? Same, same, same like that. People really connect with who you are because they see that you're real and everybody's struggling. Everybody's going through something. But as you be who you are through that, then they can relate to that. And everybody's at a different stage in their and they're leveling up. So we have to recognize that and not just speak to, you know, certain groups, but speak to everybody and help everybody along in the journey. So there I am, summer dawn day. Mwah. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Summer. There's a quite, quite a quite a few names there of um, YouTubers that I have not even seen before. So I'll have to check some of those out. And um, I added most of them into the show notes, uh, for, into the production notes. But if I, there's some I missed, just please feel free to post those into the core chat as well. And and again, for anybody, you know, use the core chat to kind of like post examples of people that you're coming across so that we can learn from them and study them and be inspired by them. But yeah, no, I think I think that's great, Summer. And and again, you know, just like really being uh, aware of of how these different YouTubers are to creating the communities for their individual channels is very powerful. And and that's something that uh, for everybody here and I, I wish Jocelyn was still in here because I want to be able to mention this to her as well um, but again you know this uh, this idea of uh, you can almost kind of create like a, a terminology for your audience uh, so again you know like within the paradigm shift community we have like shifters um, so I mean you can kind of create like a, some sort of phrase that would refer to the people in your audience to be able to invite them to connect as well as like I said you know creating uh, recurring recurring phrases as, as what Summer was talking about with Ralph Smart, he really owns this and everything. Um, and again, you know, like even with uh, even at the end of your videos as well. So I mean, for myself, with a lot of my videos, uh, I always kind of like end it with like "see you in the future" kind of thing, because like kind of one of the themes that I talk about is like being like a neo gonzo journalist from the future as well. But yeah, Summer, going back to your content uh, again, I, I think it's very valuable that you're becoming more aware of what creates uh, good content for these content creators. And yeah, I think it's. It's just a matter of uh, getting into the flow and the habit of you being in front of the camera. And again, it's just kind of like a practice makes perfect kind of thing. But over time, I think it's just going to continue to evolve. So yeah, we'll start off where we need to and go from there. But yeah, Summer, I'm excited for that as well. So that's cool. Yeah, thank you. And thanks, guys, everybody for holding space is super awesome. Awesome. It's almost 12, 12 here. Crazy. Awesome. Cool. Cool. Perfect. All right. Well, I think we're, I think we're almost done, but we'll have time at the end just for any sort of additional brainstorming. Uh, we still do have Drew and I think he's the last person for this meeting. So we'll pass it over to him. So Drew, go right ahead when you're ready, dude. All right. Um, so yeah, for me, pretty much, um, I don't have a huge list. Like, I don't know. I've, I've kind of gone on and off with like, listening to, to other create like other youtubers and whatnot i just i don't know after just haven't been in it as much but ones that come off the top of my head right away would probably be um jason silva's one i really enjoy i don't know if he's on youtube but i follow him on a lot of different social media and pretty much anytime he speaks he just has like this um this really like inspiring like awful or not awful but like awe inspiring like way of capturing your attention and then just the way he plays with words you can tell he really has fun with it and um just pretty much anything he puts out is just like a really really fun to watch and just pretty inspiring on the moment and then um, after that um I, one another one i really like i don't watch all the time but every now and then i'll see him in my feed and somebody says really resonates is uh aubrey marcus does like a podcast i think i originally heard of him when he was like a guest on the joe rogan show and um just i don't know the his format and the way he does it he's just he's just really consistent i don't tune in every day but when i do scroll by and see something that he's talking about and it resonates i, I generally click on and listen for a while and um and then and then um Another one, um, he's not really a YouTuber, but his lectures are all over the place. Alan Watts, he's one I really enjoy, whether whether I'm just meditating or if I'm on psychedelics or something, it's something that really calms me and just like you can just click on pretty much any video any videos, lectures, or even if there's a lot of people sample his lectures into their music, which is something I kinda wanna move into myself. Um and then uh, yeah, just really, just really solid, calming, grounding, but yeah, also 
really taking your mind up into to higher spaces if that makes sense and really that's all i've all i've really got off the top of my head i need to i'm gonna i'm gonna run through all the all the the list of things everyone else wrote down so i can kind of study some more things but um that's pretty much it for me sorry that's my cat he wants to get out it's just way too cold right now but um yeah that's, that's pretty much all i got snap Shh. Sorry, right. no worries. Go go right ahead, dude. Cats come first. Yeah. Cool. And um, we totally have my cat freaking out here. She just climbed up onto the table. <laughs> There's a cat inside the computer. Um, That's so awesome. I'll just wait for Drew to come back. So I just wanted to check in in terms of content he's feeling called to create. Though I know we did talk about that um, recently in the last production meeting as well. And then I'm going to go over just uh, some of uh, my own YouTubers that I want to be able to just talk about real quick, as well as some content that I'm feeling called to create as well. So we'll just see whether or not Drew's jumping back in. Okay, well, we'll get back to Drew in a second. Um, Drew, if you're listening, just jump in at any point. So in terms of content creators that uh, I have a list of, um, I actually did post a list inside of the uh, work lounge notes, but I'm going to add it to the production notes as well. That is like a list that I've created of YouTube creators um, that's listed within my channel. And um, we're actually just checking. Drew, you still there? If you're there. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Sorry did you, about that. No worries. Did you just want to, before we keep going, did you just want to share um, some content that you're feeling called to create video wise in the coming future? Like specifically um, for the main website. And, and again, even keeping in mind that one of those videos may just be like an introduction video as well. And I know we talked a bit about this last time, but if you're yeah. in that process yet. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Um, right now, I just really, it's just all music right now. Um, I'm working on getting some some stuff set up to to set me up as a health and fitness coach. I've basically got one client that I'm working with right now, and then um um I don't know. It's like uh basically I don't know. I can't really do too much until next week. Just New Year's was kind of crazy for me and kind of overdrafted my account really gnarly. So I'm still waiting for my payday, and then change of living situation so like basically next week i'll be able to really get the ball rolling i can get in basically i'm thinking of just i've been watching other youtubers for health and fitness style type ideas and um what i'm noticing is if they're like i'm trying to work with people that are basically trying to switch vegetarian or vegan diet lifestyles so and then on top of that giving them like the uh giving them a workout regimen that fits their personality and then just watching helping them manage their diet on top of that so i've been watching some other youtubers i can't really think of names off the top of my head but i'm noticing that just kind of documenting their their meals throughout the day then maybe when you're when i'm at the gym just film a quick little session of what i'm doing for my own personal workout and then that'll be kind of more like a daily daily thing and then um and then after that just just music providing music for others and then um, yeah just music from there really but trying to trying to keep like imagery with the music though so it's almost like you have a visual presentation or to go along to accompany the music as well and then yeah eventually i'm going to work in some samples of just like like people people that i enjoy listening lecture and then that way it can set the tone for the song as well and then um just getting people intro music whatever they require chill sure. dude quiet it's relax i'm on air dude chill out please he's gonna mount with- that's okay man that that's good i mean we got we got the basis covered there as well so that's good man but yeah, and uh, again, and I apologize for not mentioning this earlier, but again, content wise on the main website, absolutely like having like music included into content that we're featuring through the main website is going to be a part of it as well. And so some of that may be just like purely audio based, um, but some of that may be with like lyrics. Uh, so like purely, you know, instrumental or, you know, digital, but some of it would be with lyrics as well. And I'm looking forward to more of the collaboration there. So cool and uh yeah drew again thank you for being here dude so yeah yeah no problem thanks thanks for having me i really appreciate it awesome man 
Okay, let's keep um, moving through because I want to just be able to wrap this broadcast up in the next uh, very quickly. So uh, in terms of content creators that uh, I have a list of, there's quite a decent list here. And again, I'm going to post a link into the production notes uh, that goes, goes to another list of people that I've like compiled over the years. Uh, some of the ones that I'm just going to list here and then I'm going to go over them. Uh, Preston Smiles, Jason Silva, Terrence McKenna, Bridget Nielsen, uh, Yoga with Adrian, Adrian, uh, Koi Fresco, Symbiotic Solutions, Reese Jones, Prince EA, Ralph Smart, Alina Alive, Reality Files, Ryan Cropper, Dakota of Earth, uh, Brianna Spreadlove, and Steve Wilner. Uh, some of those you've probably heard of, some of them you haven't. Preston Smiles, I'll just focus on real quickly because Preston Smiles, if you have not checked out his videos, I highly recommend them. Really pay attention to the energy that he brings into his videos and you'll see like why it is so successful. Like he just has like this really like, like powerful masculine energy with his videos without it being like hyper masculine, but really authentic masculine. So I've taken like a lot of inspiration from him. Like I've worked with him. He's been in like the Journey to Lucidity movies in the past past as well and um yeah i highly recommend other people check out his stuff of course jason silva is already mentioned by drew uh his videos have always been an inspiration for me because i've like emulated that in some of mine where you're just kind of like really almost like this word flow a tree uh where you're just talking about specific topics but again it's like the presence and the energy and the awe that you bring into that moment that can really leave someone uh walking away with it with that sense of inspiration terrence mckenna obviously who passed away in 2014 i think but he's got got lots of lectures online and just someone who I enjoy listening to. He technically doesn't count as a YouTube creator, but again, just someone to look at in terms of content and in terms of kind of like going into some very particular topics that a lot of people uh, may not be entirely familiar with, but are entirely fascinated by. Bridget Nielsen, a friend of ours, she's like involved within the community. We've done interviews with her in the past. She talks a lot about like kind of like the star seed kind of niche. And uh, again, just a very, very good creator in terms of her consistency, in terms of the content, uh, her energy. She's got like a lot of success that she's building and just someone else to represent, to re look at. Um, I'm not going to go through all of these, but again, yoga with Adrian. Uh, she does like yoga videos. Again, just watching her as an instructor, super good. Koi Fresco, some of you are probably familiar with him. He's like blown up over the YouTube. He's got like over 500 subscribers and um, he's got a lot of high quality content in terms of educational videos. So again, his content is good to look at in terms of the format that he uses. Symbiotic Solutions is someone that you have probably not heard of. He's a friend within our community from over the years, been more involved in the past, but he really focuses on really creating like beautiful edited content. And that's something that I think you don't see a heck of a lot of within the conscious content uh, that YouTube YouTubers create is that sometimes like their content is very kind of like cookie cutter and that's not a bad way it just kind of like fits within a certain format but like his content like his videos are kind of like little mini documentaries and just the way the cinematography flows and the editing and the music totally has a very, very powerful feel to it um one that i didn't put on the list here but i'll just mention real quick matthew silver matthew silver is uh some of you would know him he's like the guy in new york who has like big hair and walks around in underwear and had a viral video a few years ago with like the stop buying stuff Stuff. love is the answer um, he's again he's a friend of ours we've interviewed him in the past uh, again just looking at the way that he shifts the paradigms really bringing the love and the art to the street and again you know like that's something that I want to encourage people to create is not just content that you're filming in your own house but literally content where you're like interviewing people on the street creating content of you in action doing free hugs and we'll talk more about that in future broadcasts um, Reese Jones he's talked a lot about lucid dreaming over the years super popular he's taken a break but he's actually someone who's going to be involved with the co-op in the future prince ea a lot of people are familiar with him his videos in, in in particular in the past of him doing like poetry with videos i again are another great example and something that i've emulated as well through mine uh, Ralph Smart already mentioned Alina Alive. She's a friend of ours. She makes some really cool health educational videos. Again, we'll, we'll you guys are encouraged to check these out. Reality Files. He's involved uh, as a friend of ours. You'll see him in the co-op in the future. He, he makes really cool videos where it's just you listen to the way he talks. It's very, very engaging. But a lot of his videos are like these like 10 minute long one shot takes. So you can kind of like observe his videos in terms of how they work in that format. Uh, Ryan Cropper. He talks a lot about the dreaming and just kind of the astral realm. 
Realms, very powerful creator, well edited content as well. Uh, Dakota of Earth, some of you might have heard of him. Again, very popular creator. Uh, he does like a lot of travel logs and again, a lot of like poetry stuff as well. Brianna Breezy, Spread Love, someone who's also involved with the co op. She does a good variety of content uh, in terms of just like inspirational tarot readings. And um, Steve Wilner is one that I want to mention in particular because he's not really an active creator anymore, but in the past, back in 2008, 2009, uh, he has a website or a YouTube channel called Soundless Dawn that is super cool because it looks at like the conscious themes within media and culture and just observing them and absor observing the symbolism of them and really like getting into the esoteric symbolism of Hollywood and super cool stuff. So in terms of content that I'm feeling called to create, I want to focus uh, on creating a variety of content. Uh, some of the content includes conscious movie reviews, stuff that I've already done in the past, but I want to do more of that. I, for an example, I want to even create like a video where it's like, um, like top 10 or not even top 10, but just like 10 conscious, 10 movies with conscious themes that you should watch kind of thing, which I think would be really cool. And at the same time, I do, do still want to do conscious movie reviews for individual movies. Um, for example, I want to do one for like Into the Spy Spider-Verse would be a recent one. Uh, I want to do one um, for uh, Smallfoot was one. There were some super potent themes in that movie. And there's a bunch of others that I just got to go back and think more about. Um, I want to be able to do some practice doing some raw logs, uh, some raw video logs, which again are going to be kind of like the 10 minute takes kind of similar to what I've uh, been inspired by from reality files and uh, just focusing on specific topics. I want to do some uh, more poetry videos, um, some like really cool stylized poetry videos with shots of nature in space, kind of similar to the other one that I did, but a little bit different and uh, really focusing on like really creating like inspirational poetry, kind of focusing on like the style of Prince EA and also like videos that are like call to action videos uh, again like more free hugs videos I still have video see for me I have a lot of video content that hasn't even been uploaded yet that I've edited over the years so in addition to creating new content there's also content that I have like from years ago that I'm still going to be able to reproduce uh, to create as new content so with that said again you know like I just want everyone to be able to just kind of spend time studying these different creators and really get some more clarity on all the different possibilities that are out there in terms of like the different styles and the different formats and the different energies and the way these videos make you feel and then begin thinking and feeling about how you want to be able to help your audience relate to you and what it is that you want them to be able to get out of your relationship that you're creating because essentially like that's what it is is that every single time that you create a video, you need to be thinking about how you're creating a relationship between yourself and that individual audience member. Like, no, you're not just talking to like 500 people at once. You're literally talking to like one person individually 500 times. And so how do you make them feel welcomed? And even just like really making sure that you're like honoring them within your videos. So just like really just saying, you know, like, thank you for being here. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for your work. Honoring them is so important as well. So again, in terms of moving forward with the project, there's a lot that we have on the horizon in terms of very amazing potential. And again, you know, with creating Paradigm Shift, I always wanted to do this because again you know with my content you guys have seen like I've got like really high quality content full length movies inspirational stuff a huge variety of, of, of different styles which is kind of something I've talked about and I think if anything like you'll notice that my YouTube channel only has 10,000 subscribers and for those of you that have seen the quality of my content that may actually sound a little surprising when you look at like other people's channels and how they've grown um, but a big side effect of that has been that I've been focusing more on like the broadcast for the community and I've kind of talked about this before is is where you know a part of me if I were to have just focused on my YouTube channel I could have easily like been right up there with like Aaron Doughty and Koi Fresco and those people who have like 500,000 subscribers like I know I can like that's like because I, I see the content they're doing and I know I can replicate that through my own style but for me like I've made the conscious choice to focus much more of my energy into creating this platform into creating Paradigm Shift Central into doing these broadcasts into working alongside with everyone here to be able to help bring us all up together because that way you know again like I wouldn't I wouldn't it wouldn't have been me to have like just been this like super popular YouTube creator and then if there were people who were also feeling like they wanted to be creators 
to not have that outlet for them to be able to reach more exposure. Instead, now that we're at this point where we have this platform, I'm going to be focusing more on building my YouTube channel. And as we're doing this, we're going to be building it. We're going to be rising together. So what's going to happen is that you're going to see my YouTube channel and my Instagram start gaining in popularity. Yet as we're doing this, it's also building the collective audience for the entire team. So as more people become familiar with my content, they're also being redirected into your content as well, which is essentially a core part of what I've wanted the Paradigm Shift Central platform to be, which is like this shared platform where we can all share our voice. So for the people who might be, you know, the, the people on YouTube who have like under 50 subscribers, I want to be the person who helps them bring themselves up to help them get their message out there and to allow all of us to rise together and to invite more people to be a part of this as they can see, as they see the continued success of what we're creating. So again, you know, it's going to be a very exciting first month once we get the website up and running, but just think about where things will be within like five months and people are going to become familiar with the regular creators and they're going to start kind of seeing us literally as this team and as kind of like this, like all all-star team but again at the same time it's not like we're like all like super popular youtubers but we're just kind of like representing in a way kind of like i don't want to say like the average joe but in a way we're kind of showing that hey you know like such and such is creating youtube videos and for the person watching that that's going to help inspire them to be like whoa maybe i can do that too and that's what's powerful whereas like for some of these big youtube creators you know even just like like people like Ralph Smart and stuff, people are going to watch and watch and watch. But how often do they think about being like, oh, like, you know, can I do what Ralph Smart is doing? And not to say that he's not encouraging that because he's encouraging a lot of things. But with what we're creating, we are going to be encouraging that where we're going to be like, here's a video by such and such in the community. And they're learning, they're getting better. And if you want to create your content and have it featured through the community, then consider joining the co-op. And if you're a good fit for the team, then we'll bring you on as well. So that's what I feel is the big objective. My objective is to not just be the most popular YouTuber, but my objective is to help be a leader, to help bring up an entire coalition, an entire team, a, a, an entire just like kingdom of YouTube creators so that we can all reach out further out into the world. Because I feel like in the in the long term, that is essentially what we need. You know, this is like, again, building the, the, that, that grid of light guardians, of pillars of light throughout the world. So anyways, we'll wrap it up on there. But I just want to be able to create space for any um, people just to either ask any questions or just even express some gratitude before we conclude this uh, production meeting. And then and um, from there, we'll, uh, again, just stay tuned. And if you have content that you're ready to submit, uh, just let me know and we'll start getting people synced up on the main website. No rush on that right away. And um, stay tuned because I'm going to be sharing the main website with you once it is ready. And I'm very excited to do that. So thank you again, everyone, for being here and for rocking it and for just adding your energy. And we are the vanguards, you know, so people are going to get really excited about what it is that we're creating together as they already are. So anybody just uh, going around the microphone one last time, anybody just have any gratitude or questions that they want to ask real quick, please go right ahead. So I just want to say thank you guys. You guys are so awesome. Woo thank you, Summer. Thank you. Gratitude. Love you guys. Awesome. Thanks. Thank you, Summer, as well. Cool. And Rick, uh, go ahead. Yeah, absolutely. Second that. I just want to say thank you all for welcoming me, for allowing me to come into this sacred space. And I just honor you. And I just, I'm grateful and thankful to be here, to have the opportunity to learn and grow and add, uh, just add the authentic me. And so thank you for bringing your authentic selves, for just laying down all the masks and diving into this, into this deep, deep end of the pool to, uh, to shift. Cause that, that's, yeah, just taking away all the fear, diving into the love, into the compassion, and into the acceptance of everything that is, and really creating content that's going to make a difference. So thank you, everybody, just for showing up as you. Awesome. Thank you, Rick, as well. And yes, thank you, everybody. So, And uh, Manders, anything, if you want to just add in, please feel free. Otherwise, we will get right into concluding this broadcast cool okay and and again you know just like within context i know there's just a couple of us here but yeah you know 
the purpose of what it is that we're doing is literally to be able to help accelerate the shift in consciousness. Like that's literally what we're doing by us investing ourselves in these efforts. It is helping accelerate the shift in consciousness because the alternative would be us doing nothing, right? So it's really honoring the fact that literally just by us showing up in our individual lives and in our individual communities, and especially within the content that we're creating that is sending out this pulse into the internet, that is literally accelerating the shift in consciousness. So every time that we show up, we're just doing that a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more. And again, you know, ripples create waves. So awesome job, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. And uh, absolutely, please feel free to message me within the co-op channel. If you are looking to get in touch for one-on-one -on -one stuff throughout the day, I'll make myself available as best as I can and stay tuned for more updates. And everyone here, join me in saying thank you. And until next time, for all the people listening to this in the future. So go ahead, everyone. Join me in saying thank you. And we love you. So thanks, everyone. Namaste. Love you. Woo Good job, team. Aloha. Thank you. Awesome. Oh. All right, guys. Thank you again. And as always, keep it shifty, and we will see you in the future. Church, church. All right. Good back to you. <laughs> Love it. What's up? Hello. All right. That was great. Pew, 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 pew. pew.